Hello and welcome. And in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to create a beveled or chiseled text effect in Cinema 4D using the Volume Builder and a Displacer Deformer. And this is probably one of the most flexible setups that I've seen. And it makes it just easy for you to change the text and change it to whatever you want. You might have to make some changes after you switch your typeface or font. But generally speaking, you should have the same effect and all you would have to do is modify some settings and you would still have your chiseled effect. So let's get right into it. All right, so we're just gonna get started and file new project. And we are going to go into our splines and get the text spline and we will just type bevel. And with that, we're just gonna select the font and I will go with Rockwell. Align it to the middle and that's it for that. I'm just gonna hold on number two and drag with my left mouse button to the left here to zoom out. And with that, with my text selected, I am going to go and drop that into an extrude object by holding down Alt on a Mac or Control on PC. And with that done, I will go into my extrude and reduce the offset to about 50. And then we are going to drop our whole setup here of our extrude object into a volume builder. And so by holding on Alt again or Control on PC, we will drop that into a volume builder. And we our voxel size is pretty large at the moment, so we are going to reduce that to one. Okay, and there is a step here. If you want, you can smooth this, but I will skip that step at this point. And so we're going to drop our volume builder into a mesher by holding the alt. And so once we have that, now we have actual geometry. So with that done, I'm going to select my entire group now and hold down, click alt G to create a group and drop that into a null. And with the null selected, I am going to go into my displacer deformer and holding down shift. I'm going to make my displacer deformer a child of our null object to displace the volume measure. And so with our displacer selected, we want to go into our shading and we want to go and grab a color. And right now we see that it pretty much just bloats our text. And what that's doing is if you think about it, we usually deal in black and white. So white is going to bloat it. And if I switch this to black, it'll pretty much, I guess, have the opposite effect. And if we have gray, it's almost zero effect. So we will switch this back to white. And what we wanna do is go into our fall off. And with the field set settings, which is what we are going to be using, we are going to actually use the text itself as a fall off. So I'm gonna grab our text, drag it into the fall off section here. And you can see we have something, but not really what we want at the moment. So by clicking on our text in the fall off field here, we have some options. So what we want to go to is the layer and in the layer controls. We want to change the spline shape from curve to mask. And we see we are pretty much back to where we were with the bloated text, but we want to make sure that our mass projection is correct, which is a long Z, which is what our direction our text is facing. And we want to change our mask fall off from outside to inside. And that is how we get our beveled look. And as you can see, it's pretty good. And with not a lot of steps, actually, we have a pretty good setup now. And with the distance here, you can actually fine tune that if you want to get different looks, but I'm just going to put this back to about 12. And as I mentioned before, if we go back into our volume builder right now, we had no, we didn't actually smooth out the text once we dropped it in here. So if we want to get a different effect, we can actually drop a smooth in here and that helps to smooth in the edges and just give it a different look. But obviously we don't want, I think it's actually pretty smooth now. So we want to go back and drop our voxel distance to one. And that gives us something different. And I will actually change the operator from Gaussian to mean, which gives us, you know, sort of a finer look. And as I mentioned, the beauty of this, we can go back into our text object and change our font to something else. 
and it retains most of the settings. And we can obviously go back in there and fine tune some of the options, but for the most part, we have a setup that's flexible and we can change our font and we get pretty much the same effect. So that's it. Hopefully this was helpful and you learned something. Thanks for watching.